Hello everyone, today we're going to tie this small white streamer and my name is Daniel and this is a fly that um, maybe has been, I, don't, I, I haven't seen this fly done before so I have, I have allowed uh, myself to dub this. I've dubbed this the Elby um, and basically this is a small general imitation of a small baitfish. It's a really really lively pattern that has a lot of movement in the water and, uh, and hence is really really well suited for, uh, for still water like lakes and, uh, and uh, but also for the coastline. Um, it, it has a sunga wing which means it has a kind of uh, a, a small wing made from uh, from rabbit fur um, on, on, a, on a small strip and then it also has a front hackle of, uh, of a mini marabou feather. So all in all here you have a very small, uh, not very small, but a small fly that is extremely lively and due to the uh, the bead chain eyes it has here in the front it also has a really really live uh, movement in the water. It jigs a lot as you as you retrieve it. So so an overall nice small bait fish pattern that's not too difficult, perfect for uh, for all types of still water. But I use this particular for uh, reservoir trouts, uh, uh, for stock trouts in uh, in reservoirs uh, that we have a lot of here in Denmark. Well, now we're gonna tie this fly. Here we go. So for the first thing we need is of course a small a hook and uh, and for this instruction uh, I'm gonna use the uh, the Airx NS122 it's called Light Stinger and this is a size 6 this is probably the uh, the the size that I use the most but it's it's it works really well in smaller sizes as well. I have some of these in uh, in the box that are on on fairly small hooks as well, uh, because for the reservoir, the stocked reservoir fish, uh, we fish for here in Denmark. We have this strange concept where some people you know rent a lake and then basically just dumps in a lot of rainbow trout and then you can from directly from from a farm and you can just come and, and uh, you know buy a license and then, then go fish for these for a day or for three hours or, or whatever and these fish uh, tend to to feed on smaller uh, tend to grab smaller flies uh, compared to sea trouts I think the rainbow in general prefers smaller food subjects than the, than the the brown trout does at least that's my experience so so a size six and down. So for this, the first thing we need is to attach the eyes, and I'm going to use some fluoro red uh, bead eyes, and uh, and these I'm just going to fasten here uh, real quick, and then I'm going to show you exactly how to mount them uh, by turning the vise here. So the the way to do this is actually to to make some uh, figure eight turns around the bead here, the bead eyes. There we go, and then you know, to apply some pressure. But one of the main things here to get these to really, really get stuck there is to also make some turns underneath the eyes. Because if you, does th if you do that, then when you pull here, like so, you will, you will pull the eyes really firmly shut and, uh, and this will fasten the, uh, the, the, the eight turns, the figure eight turns you have made. But the, the really, really important thing here, if you want this to, to not skirt around at all, is to take some, uh, some Sabagap or super glue, or whatever you have laying around, and just add some of that to, uh, to the fly here. There we go. Then I'm gonna make some more eight turns. And a few more underneath and then apply the pressure. Next thing we do is, is we move the tying thread all the way down here to where the hook starts to bend because this is where we need to attach the songer. And then I'm gonna make a small bundle of, uh, of tying thread down here so the, so the, the songer strip has, has something to easier latch onto. Then I'm gonna take some white songer and, uh, and this, is, uh, this is a rabbit songer and uh, in the shop at Nordic Anglers we have some pre-cut songer strips that are fairly cheap and, and really nice to work with. These are three millimeter in length, in width. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of, of that of approximately 
seven or eight centimeters. So I have I have a bit more to work with uh, than that I actually what I actually need, but uh, it will be well worthwhile it, uh, in the end. So it's easier to handle. But as you can see, this has just been cut clean off. I, I do not like this. I want this to taper. So I take my scissor and then I carefully cut on both sides here. So I have, instead of that abrupt ending, I have kind of a tapering effect of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, of the rabbit hairs here. This will give a more, you know, a, a, a better swimming, a better swimming songer, but also, also will will make the fly has the right shape. Then I try to, uh, then I try to get a completely even piece of leather here. So I use my scissor to pull out, so I have the hairs uh, both pointing backwards and forwards, and I have a, a very nice point where I can tie down the fur. I'm just gonna add a bit of, of, of saliva to my fingers so I can pull the hair forward, forward so it's, it's, it's not gonna be in the way. Then I take my songer, and then I tie down just behind, just where there are no hairs, where the hairs has been parted. Apply some pressure to make sure it stays in place. There we go, just on top of the, on top of the hook. And there we have the first, the first part of this song of fly. Then I'm gonna move this back, and then use the tying thread to force it as long back as possible. There we go. Now we're ready to continue with the fly. The next thing we need is a dubbing loop. So I'm gonna take the the thread here. I'm gonna use my. Uh, I don't know what it's called in English. In, Den Den in Denmark, it's called the pointing finger. I don't know if this, it's the index finger or, or, or what you call it. But I'm gonna use that to double my tank thread here. And then I have a loop now. But because this loop is very open-ended, I'm gonna take my tank thread and swing it around the loop and tie this down so it's, it's now not as open. Then I'm gonna move my tank thread all the way up to the eyes. There we go. I now have my, let's just call it index finger. And I put that inside the loop so it can it can be used to, to control and the movement of the loop here. And then I use the longest of my fingers to actually open the loop or to close the loop. Then with my other hands, I take some, uh, some eye stopping in pearl like this and then I'm gonna place that inside the loop and then I'm gonna try to distribute this throughout the dubbing loop here so it's gonna it's gonna be approximately eight nine ten centimeters or so then I take my dubbing loop tool I use the CF design one with the ball bearing because basically that's the best one there is place it inside the loop here and then I'm gonna give that a spin and as you can see, what you get from this is you get kind of like a, a, a dubbing brush made from this, uh, this translucent and, and flesh, fleshy uh, ice dubbing. And this is going to be my main body. I'm going to fold this back. And then basically I'm going to turn this all the way up towards the head of the fly here. There we go. And once I get all the way up to the, uh, to the, the, the breast bead eyes here, I'm gonna take the, the dubbing, turn it one way around the eyes. There we go. So that it, it kind of gives it, it adds kind of like a small head to uh, to the fly. I'm gonna tie the, the the dubbing loop down and cut away the leftover of the dubbing loop. There we go. So the next step is to get the uh, the songer strip to kind of give this fly the the particular shape it needs. 
You can do that by folding the dubbing, not, not the dubbing, the rabbit sunger here. Fold this forward. And then I'm gonna pull it as hard as I can. Apply a bit more of saliva to hold the hairs in place, but I pull this as hard as I can. And then with the other hand, I fasten it. And then I tie down on top of all of the, need to go on the right side of the eyes there, all of the hairs. Because, and then really clamp down. Because I need some of the, the shorter hairs to be there as well. To get the right uh, properties of the fly and, and give it the right composition. Um, so, so we need all of the, the short hairs to be there as well. There we go. I'm gonna carefully cut away the sunger. And uh, try to get as much of the sunger as you can here. So uh, a nice pair of scissors is, is essential for, for this part of the fly here. And make sure that you really that you really did use a lot of pressure to tie this down because if something goes wrong now the, the fly is bust. Then the finishing touch is to add a very very soft uh, um, short marabou hackle. Uh, this is uh, a, an Ewing um, marabou patch and on one of these you get a lot of soft hackle feathers here on the bottom which are great for a lot of different things you could probably use one for this as well. Um, but at the top of this you have a really really nice and big bulgy uh, part where you have some 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 extremely soft uh, hackles that are more like marabou than they are of um, of, of a soft hackle you, you see how, how nice and uh, and and soft these look so it's it's basically just a small uh, a marabou hackle that is not as long as the regular marabou feathers I'm pulling off all the uh, all the fluffy woolly part and then Moving this down here, I try carefully to get as close to the tip as possible here. So fold the feathers back so I only have the tip here. I'm going to tie this down. Just on top here. To make the ending here not as abrupt. And those, you can cut those away but you can also leave them. There is so much going on with the dubbing sticking out everywhere and this hackle as well, so it's it's not going to be something that you will notice once notice once you've done this. Then I turn my uh, my mini marabou hackle. And this will give it the finishing touch and really really make this through this fly even more more um, lively in the water. There we go. And I'm cutting away the, the rest of the hackle. Move my, uh, then I move my tying thread underneath up to the front of the fly here. And then I'm gonna make my, you can see it's, it's <laughs> I've used some saliva to hold everything in place and, and, and that kind of makes it look a bit strange now because it has been mangled a bit up here. But that's just because it's wet. So. so there you have it. The Elby with the uh, extremely lively uh, rabbit uh, bunny sunger and the uh, extremely lively hackle here and and this will jig really much in the washer because of the weight added here in the front and it's just a killer 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 pattern so there we go the lb that's it for now um, as always i am daniel and i have a web shop that's called nordic anglers where of course you can find all the materials used in this fly uh, we also have made a, a full material kit so it's easy and convenient for you to buy all the materials you will need for for this uh, this great great uh, baitfish pattern uh, this great little streamer so swing by nordic anglers if you haven't done so already and check out our really really big uh, um, big number of, of fly tying and fly fishing items. Um, as always, it would mean a lot to me if uh, you would subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You'll then just get receive an email every now and then when, when a new video is online. Otherwise, there's nothing left to say, but good luck out on the water and thank you a lot for watching.